As Hillary Clinton talks about her plan to destroy ISIS in an interview only on CBS this morning. Her strategy includes special forces, airstrikes, and a no-fly zone in Syria. We spoke with the presidential candidate at the Hay Adams across from the White House. Our conversation began with the debate over sending combat troops to the Middle East. I agree with the president's point that we're not putting American combat troops back into Syria or Iraq. We are not going to do that. This Under fight, no circumstances well, would you not do that? Well, if at, at this point, I cannot conceive of any circumstances where I would agree to do that. We don't know yet how many special forces might be needed, how many trainers um, and uh, surveillance and uh, enablers might be needed. But in terms of thousands of combat troops, like some on the Republican right. side are recommending, I think that should be a non-starter. And it should be a non-starter both because I don't think it's the smartest way to go after ISIS. I think it gives ISIS a new recruitment tool right. if we get back in the fight. Tell me how serious the threat of ISIS is and at what level do we decide we'll do anything we have to do to stop them? Well, I think we have to have as our objective their defeat. I think you have to fight them in the air, you have to fight them on the ground, and you have to fight them in cyberspace. Now you're facing an even more barbaric enemy, which has more money and now controls territory. We need to get over the false choice between either going after Assad or going after yeah, help ISIS. Help us understand that because yeah. everybody is talking about that. Yeah, it, it, you know, How do you do both? Well, I think you do both by making it clear and bringing the Russians in. You know, the Russians have now paid a big price because of the uh, bomb in their, uh, their jet coming from Sharm el-Sheikh. So they've lost people to ISIS, right? I think you say, look, we need your, if not your active help, your acquiescence in what we're going to do going after ISIS. So that means you're going to have to pull back from this area while we go after their leadership and their economic infrastructure. But if you want to be part of that, we would welcome you. And you have a dog in this hunt now because you're worried about what's happening in the Caucasus. You're worried about ISIS spreading its ideology. Right now, we're not going to see a military defeat of, of Assad. So That's not going to happen. It, it, it might have been possible a few years ago. It's not going to happen now. If there's a no-fly zone, which you're advocating, mm -hmm. uh, and the Russians invade that no-fly zone, mm -hmm. would President Clinton say, shoot it down, that if would, you give it warning? Charlie, that would not happen, because we're going to put up a no-fly zone where the Russians are clearly kept informed. I want them at the table. They don't have to participate in it, but I want them to understand that there has to be safe areas on the ground. Is there some lesson we need to learn, and it may be applicable to Syria, don't get rid of a strong man until you have somebody that can come in there, because you do not want chaos, and you do not want the kind of circumstance in Libya, because what you have in Libya now is an increasing force of ISIS. It's a totally fair question. Gaddafi had American blood on his hands. Gaddafi was a threat to the broader region. Our European and Arab friends certainly saw him as that. And as you say, he was promising to track down his own people and kill them like cockroaches. I think one of the ways we need to approach this is continue the discussions about national unity, but as a precondition say, we need to join together right now before they get a stronghold and work to eliminate ISIS insert. And it is something that is going to require a lot of cooperation. There are armed groups that are fighting for power within Libya that are not in any way identified with or allied with ISIS. They need to form even a loose confederation to try to push ISIS literally into the sea before they get a stronghold. Uh, mm. The question is also, how different is she from the president? A lot of it's the same. I, she, she clearly says she wants to intensify what we're doing, mm -hmm. more special forces. Uh, but there was no strong distinction other than no, no fly zone. The thing that she kept emphasizing in every conversation, whether it was climate or whether it was uh, the Middle East, whether it was China, is leadership, 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 to which my question was, are we not getting that leadership now, which she didn't go to? Mm. Very interesting. More to come. She was certainly very candid talking yes. to you. And engaged. Yeah. yeah. We'll have more of my interview with Hillary Clinton in the next hour. She addresses her relationship with Wall Street and explains why she wants to be president.